is Saturday. It is slow Saturday and mine is very, very slow. Okay, so this happened. Between Teresa and I, we have five children. Our oldest daughter lives in New Zealand. The second one is our son, he's in Cape Town. Then there's a daughter in Sweden. And then there's a daughter close by. And then there's a foster child close by as well. Now, the fourth child, she's single. So she came this morning, like she did last week, for brunch. Even though she's, how old is she? 27, I think, somewhere there. I have to calculate, okay? It's a case of, I'm coming for food. You know? Like that. So we built this massive brunch again. And her and her father came up with vodka and OJ this morning. Need I say more? So brunch for me was halloumi. With tomato relish. With avocado. With pan fried mushrooms and onion and garlic with a fried egg and uh, rustic french fries on the side and roasted cherry tomatoes they still had meat i don't eat meat i'm a vegetarian but i don't think the vodka and oj is such a good choice but it's cold it's very cold and we had low shedding early this morning, so we had no power, so there was no light because it's overcast and rainy, so I couldn't do the video earlier, so, okay. The double bubble beanie is finished, the testers are finished, it's a double beanie, cute, hey, yeah, very nice and warm, so um, I just need to take a few photos and then this one will be on Ravelry, but... I'm thinking of enhancing the pattern slightly. Instead of doing only the Erin version, I'm thinking of adding a double knit version as well. So that you can choose what yarn you want to work with. So maybe I will do that before I publish it. I'm not sure. Then, <coughs> I started working on a little crocheted cardigan. Very pretty one. Very pretty one here. Um, it looks quite nice. I'm quite happy with it. I'm working in an ombre from dark down to very light. I showed you the yarn last week, so I'm working on that. That is planned for the end of June. Yep, so I have lots of time for that. And I finally got the yarn to finish the shawl, my hook. The shawl. I'm going to work on the shawl right now when I pluck my butt in front of the TV. Pluck is glue in Afrikaans, just so you know. So I'm going to watch IPL cricket just now and I'm going to be crocheting in front of the TV because I really, really, really want to finish the shawl. I can't wait to get to the border. So that is happening. That is also planned for June. So actually um, I actually want to publish this shawl pattern within the next two weeks so it will be early in June um, as well as the double bubble beanie will also be within the next two weeks and then there's a knitted jersey a sweater a very informal sweater. I showed it to you. It's that lime green and grey one. Uh, the one where I missed out a whole repeat. You remember that one? I'm still looking at it. She's still in the naughty corner. But yeah. I will fix her up. But at least the testers ones are perfect. And um, we're going to arrange a photo shoot for that in the second half of June. So at the end of June, there will be a nice knitted sweater published as well as a crocheted cardigan. 
yeah that's planned for the end of june and then within the next week or two there's the double bubble beanie and that shawl now that shawl is going to be called lady hawk i started i i designed that shawl originally in lockdown in 2020 when COVID just started i was totally overwhelmed with this new pandemic thing and didn't know how to respond to all of this weird stuff that was suddenly all around us so i was just mindlessly crocheting granny rose and then i made the border but when i redid it this time i was putting more thought into this thing and this is what i came up with you know choosing a name for projects is really difficult but um I can't just give something a name that means nothing to me. I'm always, if I, if you, whatever pattern you use of me, somewhere behind the name there's something special for me. I don't always share it with everybody. I actually seldom do. But there's always something special about a name. <clears throat> and in this case, this is my thinking. There was a movie many many years ago now i don't watch fiction i don't read fiction i don't like stories i don't like movies um, i watch reality tv but it has to be something interesting like a cooking show i love master chef australia i love survivor um i love the history channel I will not watch reality like Keeping Up With The Kardashians. <sighs> really. I know what Kim Kardashian looks like, simply because I've seen her all over the news. I remember once I saw one of the other Kardashian sisters and she was crying a freaking river because she turned 40. It was just a, a trailer that was showing. And I thought, <laughs> really? Really? You're crying a freaking river because you're 40. Oh, get a life, girl. So I've never watched the Kardashians. That, that to me is just a waste of time. Why am I going with this? Why am I telling you about this? Uh, I can't remember why I watched the movie. I must have been very lonely, very depressed or very bored. But I watched Lady Hawk. Now in this film... It's a fantasy film. There's some kind of curse placed on a man and a woman. She is trapped in the body of a hawk by day. And he is trapped in the body of a wolf by night. So he, she walks around at night as a human being with this wolf next to her. And then in the daytime, he's a normal human person and the walk will be somewhere close to him. And I remember looking at this movie and I thought by myself, actually, I feel opposite. I feel trapped in a human body. I would love to fly. I sometimes dream of flying. I wish I could do that by day. So this is where the shawl come in. We go through these extremely difficult and tough and challenging times where we can't focus on anything. And for me, that's the time when I crochet granny rows because it's mindless. So this shawl, the biggest part of it is a granny row. And then in the darkest color, the black color, there's going to be a couple of rows solid. And the reason for that is the, the symbolism behind that for me. You know, <clears throat> the night is at its coldest right before the sunrise. The night is at its darkest right before the sunrise. And from experience, I can say that when you go through tough times, when you are really at your wit's end and you think, I can't do this, I'm not going to make it. 
and you're considering giving up oh you are considering putting an end to it I've been there <clears throat> that's right before it will change so this shawl is um, <clears throat> mostly granny rose and then these few solid black rose for that time that's it's at its darkest and at its most difficult right and then we're gonna have that elaborate mustard yellow lacy border that's like the freedom the it's time to fly baby um, it has changed there's been a breakthrough the sun is up you you've seen this thing from another perspective whatever it is um, you got wings so this is what's behind the shawl so the shawl is going to be called lady hawk and um i can't wait to finish her i'm itching to go sit and crochet on her okay so um what also happened this week i'm not going to show you all the yarn i'm not going to show you all the yarn it's <sighs> i'm only going to show you the maya I decided to do a cowl. I told you about it last week already. And the cowl is going to be called um, the Log Cabin Cowl. Just that. If I had a lot of money, I don't want a mansion of a house. I don't want a luxury yacht. I don't want um, expensive flashy cars. What I would like is a little log cabin at the foot of a mountain with a lake in front of me. That is my dream home. So we're going to call it the log cabin cow. We're going to the construction of the thing is going to be in the form of a lock cabin when you have a block and you crochet this end and then you and it gets longer and longer but it's not going to look like that it's going to be a lock cabin with a twist and we've got five colorways the one my one is lock cabin by the fair because it's just crazy colors Yeah, I know. There's a uh, natural, and this is nectarine from Moya, and we've got uh, coral, nice coral color, and we've got spring. It's a lime green color. I know the light's not so good, and we've got aquamarine, which is. Turquoise, so you can see turquoise, and then we've got a nice purple which is called purple. Too much light in here today, and we've got a yellow which is aptly called sunshine. So that is going to be cabin by the fair, it's going to be crazy colors. Then we've got a cabin in the forest which is greens and brownish. We've got a cabin at the lake, cabin at the lake, which is blues. And then we've got cabin in the flower fields, which will be pinks and purples. And the last one is cabin in a winter wonderland, which will be just your natural colors, your grays, your browns and softer, like that. So, I'm very excited about this project. I can't wait to start working on it, but I'm not going to touch it. I'm not even going to open one bag of yarn until Lady Hawk has got wings. When Lady Hawk has flown away, I will start working on the lock cabin. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Yes. Okay, now if you are a paid patron on my Patreon platform, as soon as Lady Hawk gets wings, you will get a discount code so that you can get the pattern for free or for Ravelry. And the same with the double bubble beanie. 
so there's one knitted pattern and one crocheted pattern coming for free for the paid patrons within the next week. And what other news have I got? You know, I ate so much this morning. This child that was here this morning, she's an English teacher at a high school. She works with teenagers and she's got the the personality for it as well. She's as crazy as a damn bat. And she takes after me. <laughs> that says it all. So the two of us together sometimes can really we can become a bit loud sometimes. So after this eating too much I couldn't think of the English word that you would use to say I've had too much to eat. In Afrikaans, if you really, really want to be just rude and whatever, you will say "akkes duk." Nie akkes versorg, nie akkes duk. Now, um, a straight translation into English will not make sense. It will be like "I'm thick," you know, <laughs> "I'm not thick." So this English teacher sits here, and I can't remember. I said to her, "What is the English for akkes duk?" So she looks at me with this grin. She says, I are being the fatness. <laughs> so, okay, I'm stuffed. I have too much to eat. I must really learn to make myself only one stack of that halloumi with all the stuffings up. Because it's too, too, too much. Way too much. Okay, so I'm excited about the rest of my slow Saturday. Because I'm now going to sit with Lady Hawk on my lap. And... Somewhere over this weekend, I want to give her wings. If it doesn't happen over the weekend, it will happen next week. Because it's it's quite dark in the house at the moment. This overcast weather is it's very weird. We're in a summer rainfall area. And having rain in May is unheard of, actually. And it's brought a lot of gold with it. So, um... I actually look like a citizen from Lesotho. Lesotho is a landlocked country in the middle of South Africa somewhere, not in the middle, well, more to the eastern side, whatever. Um, and their traditional clothing, they, in the wintertime, they will take blankets and wrap it around themselves and that's how they will walk around. So I look like a citizen from Lesotho. I've got a blanket wrapped around my body because it's damn cold at the moment. I can alleviate the cold with a little bit of sherry. That's not a bad idea. Maybe I must get a glass of sherry and then go sit and crochet and give Lady Hawk her wings. Yeah, maybe I'll get more creative as well with the sherry. Who knows? You never know. Okay, did you see the videos that I posted earlier this week for the knitters? The knitters now. Earlier this week I posted two videos. I blogged about it as well. You will find them on my website, elonaslowlifecreations.co.za. Uh, you will also find them here on YouTube if you just scroll down a little bit. There are two videos that I made with a knitting technique to alternate yarns when knitting in the round. And that just blew my mind. So I immediately made the videos and I shared it with you. And I might make a third one. I'm not sure yet. I'm still playing. But um, it surely opens up a whole new world of playing with different colors. And it's a very nice way to alternate two colors when knitting in the round without having that little telltale jock that you get up and you have to do all sorts of funny things to eliminate this jock. No, there's actually a much easier way and I've shown that in the video. So if you are a knitter, you've got to go and look at that video. So it's really mind-blowing and game-changing, I think. And I think that's about all the news I have. Okay, so other than these two projects that I'm still working on, they are both crochet and the blanket that's going to be crochet, I've got yarn for a knitted top over a stretch band, a crochet top over stretch bands, uh, a knitted jersey. Um, a baby set, um, three hanks from Naughty Habit, Speckle John, DK that I want to do a hat and cowl set with or something, I think, I'm not sure. Um, 
There's quite a lot. I looked at the yarn yesterday, and you know, this will sound like a cliche now because everybody say it these days, but I looked at it and I thought, hmm, that escalated quickly. Because in the beginning of April, I had no stash. None. And during April, I decided that I'm going to go back full-time into designing. And we're not even at the end of May yet. And there's yarn everywhere in my house. The lounge looked terrible at the moment. It's toolbox and crochet stuff and knit stuff and yarn, 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 more yarn. My poor husband. Spare him a sympathetic thought. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to crochet Lady Hawk. I really want to give her wings. Yeah. And then... You tell me in the comments whether you are looking forward to the log cabin cult. I would really like to know. I will put a photo in Instagram and Facebook of the yarn so that you can really see the colors. I know the light here is too much and it glares off the plastic and I don't want to open it up. And I, wanna, uh -huh. I must actually take photos. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll get my box of tots out and I'll take photos of Moya tots of the different color combos that we want to do yeah that's a good idea okay i'll do that for you you must have a blessed slow saturday i hope your tummy is as full as mine is i hope you've got good company and if you don't have company you've got excellent company i love my own company so if there's nobody with you you are in excellent company and if you are anything like me, you'll start talking to yourself. I even fight with myself at times. Okay, have a blessed Saturday. I will see you next week.